Hey guys, you often hear the saying, never judge a book by its cover. This game, Nobody Saves the World, is the epitome of that. This is surprisingly an amazing, funny, and enjoyable game that I think you will definitely like. If you want to discover why this game is so amazing, just stick around and I will tell you why I think you will enjoy this game. Let's take a look. Alright guys, my name is Wes and thanks for tuning in. As I was checking all the most recent games arriving to Xbox Game Pass, I didn't really see any game that I really wanted to try out. Until I decided to try it, Nobody Saves the World. For starter, on the surface, I thought the game looks cartoonish. And I didn't think it's something I would enjoy, but I was 1000% wrong. From the beginning I was skeptical, then I started interacting with the first NPC and starting smiling from the interaction, so I figured maybe this game is going to be funny. In any case, 5 to 6 hours later, I was still going at it, because it was becoming quite addictive. You see, this game checks a lot of the boxes for what you would expect in many other great games. There's a progression system, the higher you go, the stronger your character will become. Additionally, if you like to explore, there's plenty of exploration in this game. There's also plenty of side quests for you to do, and that will be part of your progression. There are vendors and NPCs for you to interact with. In fact, interacting with NPCs plays a big part in your progression as well. If you're someone that likes to skip interaction in games, just like me, you might need to take the time to do the interaction in this game, simply because some of the interaction can be quite funny. That said, the leveling process comes in the form of transformations, meaning you are never the same person all throughout your adventures. You started as a character named Nobody, hence the title of the game. Then you had to become a rat that bites the crap out of everything, including the enemies. After that, you can become a ranger or a guard that slashes the crap out of every enemy that comes towards him. It's a lot of fun. And eventually you will end up with about 18 transformations and each of them play an important role in your progression. This also means you will never get bored playing just one particular way. The best thing about it is the fact that you can switch form anytime you want to. For instance, there are times you need the rat to go through small areas that the guard or the ranger cannot go through. There are also times you need to cross a river and only a few characters like the turtle can do that. Therefore, you need to switch character as often as needed to complete certain tasks. Now, this is just the gist of things and this video's objective is mainly to give you an idea what kind of game this is and why I believe you will enjoy it. Having said all that, in my 6 hours playing the game, some of the best tips I can give you if you want to enjoy the game are the following. Number 1. Always redeem your completed quest as soon as possible. Number 2. Collect as many coins as possible before you reach the first vendor. Number 3. When you reach the vendor, be sure to buy the infinite quest. In my first playthrough, I mistakenly bought stars for 500 coins in order to unlock the legendary dungeon, but that was a mistake. So. In my second playthrough, I made sure the infinite quest is the first thing that I bought. This will definitely play an important role in your progression. Now, number four, make sure you switch forms as often as possible and always work towards unlocking new forms. Number five, do not forget to explore. There are many secrets to be found and that will help you towards your progression at times. Number six, pay close attention to side quests and make sure you read what they ask you to do. This plays a big part in your progression as well. Number seven, pay attention to all the upgrades available to you and make sure you choose the right ones because the upgrade points are very hard to come by. Number eight, do not neglect the map. It's a great tool which you need to check very often because it will show you where many of these secrets are located. Number 9. Save your coins to buy the better upgrades from the vendor. And number 11 is just for those that are addicted. If you can't get to your Xbox or your PC, you can play the game on your phone or tablet via the cloud gaming option with your Xbox Game Pass subscription. Anyway guys, those are all the tips that I got for you and I hope they are helpful. 
I also certainly hope that you enjoyed the game. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to drop a like, comment, or subscribe. But if for some reasons you don't enjoy this game or this video for that matter, it's okay to hit the dislike button twice, two times, and that will be okay as well. Thanks for watching. See you guys later.